This demonstration is for the beginning of the luminescence activity. Uh, what I have here are four glow-in-the-dark materials. They're just these little plastic uh, pieces. Uh, they're sold at science museums as moon rocks, even though they're made of plastic, and the package clearly says they're made in Taiwan. But anyway, um, I also have some color filters. You can't see it super well. Uh, this one is red. Uh, this one is uh, green. All right, and this one is blue. All right, and I'm gonna put these over uh, the first three of the moon rocks. Okay, and then I've got one as a control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flashlight and I'm going to uh, run these over the glow-in-the-dark moon rocks from Taiwan. All right, so I'm just running my flashlight over those. And then we're gonna turn the flashlight off. And it's a little hard to see in your video, but the control and the blue one are uh, glowing, whereas the, the ones that were covered in the red and green are not. I'm gonna redo it a second time uh, with a little brighter light source so yeah. you can see it better. I'm gonna do this again with a desk lamp. I've also turned off um, some of the ambient light in the room, so hopefully this will work a little better this time. All right. Light off. So now the only two you can see are these two on the far right, the ones that are under the, the blue and that were the control. Another way we can do this is with laser pointers. So I've got a couple of different laser pointers. Uh, this one is green. We get no glow-in-the-dark effect with it. This one is red. We get no glow-in-the-dark effect with it. This blue-purple one, however, gives us a nice glow-in-the-dark effect. All right. So whether we're using the um, whether we're using the filters or the laser pointers, we get the same effect. Only the blue-purple ones cause the, the uh, materials to grow, uh, or the white light the, that contains all colors also works.